My dear sisters and brothers, uh, grace and peace to you all. In the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and the Savior. May the Lord's protecting and healing hands be upon all of you, our nation and this global community under this new phase of the COVID-19 pandemic caused by the Delta variant, which is rapidly spreading and threatening us now. Please do your best to follow faithfully the new uh, CDC's guidelines on vaccinations and masks and social distancing, et cetera, et cetera, to protect our uh, loved ones and neighbors. This morning, we will uh, focus upon our meditation on uh, one of Christ Jesus's eight I am sayings that is, I am the bread of life, based upon our Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 24 uh, through 35. In our passage this morning, John, the Gospel writer, presents Jesus' miracle of feeding 5,000 men with two barley loaves of bread and two fish alone. Needless to say, John's intention for presenting this miracle of Jesus is to show us the readers of his gospel, God's sovereign work, God's sovereign work in his full swing in this Jesus Christ as the very pointing finger to reveal Jesus Christ's authentic identity and mission as fully divine and fully human who lives in the midst of us. John uh, likely opens his gospel, chapter one, verses one through three, regarding this authentic identity and mission of Christ to Jesus as follows, let me quote, in the beginning was the word, and the word with his God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things come, uh, all things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing, not one thing came into being. Unquote. And in verse 14, also John proclaims the, the world, the word, the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. On top of this, John also presents Jesus' eight I am, I am sayings, eight I am sayings to clearly show us his readers, such identity and mission of Jesus, which comes directly from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The first saying is, I am the bread of life, which appears in the last verse of our Joanna and passage this morning, our main text, chapter six, uh, verse 35. The second is, I am the light of the world, in chapter eight, verse 12a. And the third, saying is, I am the gate, in chapter 10, verse 9a. The fourth is, I am the good shepherd. I am the good shepherd, in chapter 10, verse 11a. The fifth one is, I am the resurrection and the life, in chapter 11, verse 25. The sixth is, I am the way and the truth and the life in, uh, in the 14th ver uh, chapter, in the 14th chapter, verse six. The seventh is, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower uh, in 15th chapter, verse one. There's one more I am saying on top of these seven in chapter eight, verse 58, saying, very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. Before Abraham was, 
I am. Needless to say, this eight I am saying reminds us of the very name of God of the Israelites, Yahweh. A-A, Aser, A-A, pronounced, which means I am who I am, or I will be what I will be, or I am the existing one, etc. As we know, all pious Israelites have been substituting this sacred name, Yahweh, A-A, Aser, A-A, with the other word, the Adonai or Adonai, meaning Lord. Because this sacred name, Yahweh, is way too holy. It's way too holy for them to call with their own contaminated mouths. The fact of the matter is, these Jesus I am sayings also remind us of our own authentic identity and lifestyle in this Jesus Christ. Based upon the very identity and mission of Jesus Christ, our passage this morning proclaims who we, you and I, and we, humanity, truly are. And how we, all human beings on earth, must live out our daily life journey here on earth in this Christ Jesus, our very bread of life, our light and our gate to life, our good shepherd and our resurrection and eternal life and our authentic way, truth and life here and now and beyond. Verses 1 through 15 in our passage likely presents a feeding miracle in which Jesus feed 5,000 men with two barley loaves of bread and two fish alone. That is, a little boy's plain lunch at the time amid the crowd, as the verse 9 shows. Of course, of course, we cannot digest this kind of miracle by which, by Jesus, with our very limited human reasoning capability alone. It is so interesting for us to encounter our sign, another sign, another sign and wonder performed by Jesus, who is walking on the Sea of Galilee, on the Sea of Galilee. <clears throat> Uh, inserted in verses 16 through 21, right ahead of our main passage this morning. As we know, since the 17th and 18th and the following era, the so-called age of reason and the age of enlightenment, and all the way down until even until this very day, this kind of supernatural miraculous ministry of Jesus Christ in our four gospels has been rejected by the so-called enlightened intellectuals and atheistic natural scientists, etc. Needless to say, this kind of train of thoughts has finally landed on their final destination of atheism. Atheism saying, there's no God or especially there's no capital G God in our Judeo-Christian scriptures. <clears throat> now, we need to pay attention to the dialogue between Jesus and the crowd in our passage, verse 25 and the following. Let me quote, when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not 
work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, they said to Jesus, what must we do to perform the works of God? What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, this is the work of God that you believe in him whom he has sent. They said to him, sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. And whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. How on earth then, how on earth then are we be able to fed by this true bread of life eternal? That, our, that is our significant fundamental question this morning as we meditate upon this Joy 9 passage. Here's the story about how to get fed by this true bread. You, some of you may, uh, may remember this young student, Cassie Bonnell, a 17 year old student, Cassie Bonnell, a 17 year old student at Columbine High School. She was killed in the worst disaster in US high school history. Maybe some of you might still remember. The Denver Rocky Mountain News wrote, let me quote, people around the world would know Cassie as the Columbine student who died confessing her faith. Her killer asked her if she believed in God. She told him she did, then died at 17, unquote. What if, what if I or any one of you, what if I or any one of you gathered here were Cassie at the very uh, moment? My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, therefore, let's eat this true bread of life now and always so we may live together we may live together eternally in this Christ Jesus, our author of life, our savior and the Lord. So here is what he, his proclamation. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Amen. May the Lord's, the grace of Lord, our bread of life be upon you, your loved ones, and upon every human soul living on this face of earth now and always. Amen.